program. So today I will tell you all about uh, the macro processors. How, once again, as per the lab session, what is required for lab. So this is how the eighth program is there, uh, which is required for the lab session. This is implementation of the macro processor, or implement not macro processor implementation of a macro. Macro implementation of a macro in the sense we are implementing the macro processor only using the C language and uh, using this language we are going to design the algorithm of a uh, pass one algorithm and uh, in that pass two algorithm will be implemented uh, as I said there are Pass one and pass two algorithm also, as of the assemblers, as of assemblers, pass one and pass two algorithm. Uh, you just think of the uh, assemblers where we have studied the two pass assemblers. In the pass one assembler, it used to generate the intermediate code, and in the pass two assemblers, it used to generate the object code. So same as of that. We shall resemble here also the pass one pass two some question pass two generation. But uh, as I said, because of the because of the nested macro. Who were the nested macro? The nested macro were Macro in a macro. Macro in macro were called as nested macro. So this part. Macro in a macro were called and uh, nested macro nested are because they reduce uh, uh, functions looping so it produces the that reduces I hope I was disconnected. Sorry for the interruption. And you please, am I audible? 
is am i audible is am i audible pranali i was disconnected yes, you are audible okay. okay okay i was disconnected so due to the network problem so again i have been joined now so in the yesterday's class we have learnt about the nested macro and today we are going to learn about the design of the macro processor and that means it is it's about implementation so uh, before starting again the implementation I, i would like to tell how a macro to be designed how a macro to be designed now here also you should resemble this with assemblers in assemblers how was the data structures in assemblers during the past one it created or it constructed so many data structures like symbol table literal table and literal pool table so these uh, three tables were constructed and uh, in the next pass uh, using these three table it used to generate the object code it used to generate the object code so here also the same thing uh, in the pass one it starts constructing or start building the data structures so what type of data structures here it builds it builds the definition table and name table and argument table so what it builds it builds the definition table name table and argument table definition table this is what definition table name table and argument table definition table name table and argument table why uh, why such again because why when we are writing a macro macro is nothing but shortened version of a program in program and when we are writing macro always in that program to be recognized this is a macro means in some of the authors they will be designated by a plus or some of the authors will get designated by the uh, small plus minus or some authors will designate to recognize as the macro from other code or other dimensions uh, from the other uh, source example or the uh, macro is in a source source it itself is also a program and it is in a big program so in the main program big program in the sense in the main program so to identify the macro some of the authors may use something like plus and something like uh, some other symbols so and even some authors may use something like minus also so I to identify that as the macro for our purpose, but we don't use like that in in uh, really a reality. We don't use in reality in the programs. So here, uh, what, uh, what we require during the pass one, during the pass one, it creates or it constructs just the three main data steps. The other three main data steps in the pass one are processes. that is definition table def tab usually we call it as definition table and name table and argument table definition table it stores what does it stores it stores the definition of a macro not a full macro in the definition table it only stores the definition of a macro now how is the definition of a macro this is how the definition of a macro now what is the name of the macro w d the name of the macro the definition is store in a data one store in b data two. this much is the definition whereas macro and end uh, m end macro and m end these two are the macro assemblers or directives which they direct this definition that it is the beginning of the macro and it is the end of the macro for this definition so in definition table it stores only the it stores only the starting uh, it stores only the start, uh, starting or, uh, from the start of the macro to the end of the macro but not the um, but not uh, but not the macro name or but not the end macro like that but here one more thing it stores in definition table it also stores with the starting address of the macro what does it does it stores with the 
starting address of the macro and the end address of the macro. So in definition table, what does it does? It stores the starting address of the macro and end of the macro. That is what the definition table. Now next, during the pass one, it also constructs if it sees. Now when it see when a, uh, during the scan time when a parser when, during the scan time when a parser encounters the, the macro, so it pushes the name of the it pushes the name of the macro into a into a name table. What is that name of the macro into a name table? Suppose the macro name in the yesterday's class, I was telling the name of the macro is WD. The name of the macro is WD. So in that way, it stores the in name table. What it is? <coughs> Nam tab is nothing but a. It is nothing but a. It is, it stores the names of the macro. It stores the names of the macro by its index, which serves as an index to the definition table which serves as an index to the definition table now this is the first macro wd is the first macro assume that and it stores its index and it also stores its uh, uh, it stores its index and also it stores its the starting and end address starting and end address that is what the name table that is what the name table now here the name table just read out i will read out here macro name are entered into the name table which serves as an index to the definition table for each macro for each macro instruction defined for each macro instruction defined as defined name table contains the pointers to the beginning and end of the definition table contains two pointers it contains to the beginning and end of the definition table table now again the argument tab what is arg it is represented by arg <clears throat> it is represented by what arg so in argument tab it is used or it is used during uh, i mean this argument tab is used during the expansion of the macro invocation when macro invocation statements is recognized that time it is used when macro invocation statement is recognized in that time it is used and the arguments are stored uh, the arguments which are stored in the in this table are according to their positions in the argument list how the programmer lists the argument so in that way only the arguments in this table it will be stored suppose p am um, percent p1 and am percent p2 assume that am percent p1 is the first position and p2 is the second position so in the same way the um, related arguments will be stored here in this argument table in this argument table so this is the three important data structures which are used during uh, we are which are constructed during the one pass macro processor during the one pass macro processor now as i said there can be one pass macro processor and also there will be the two pass macro processors the two pass macro processors are are uh, are uh, rarely used why they are rare, uh, rarely used why because uh, the two pass macro processors cannot handle the nested macro cannot handle the ma nested macro uh, why because uh, say, suppose in the past one in the past one it recognizes only the definition in the past one it as i said in yesterday's class uh, just i will recall you in the past one in the past uh, in two pass assume uh, in two pass uh, macro processor in past one it recognizes all the definitions all the definitions it recognizes all the macro definitions and in past two it recognizes all the calls all the calls and also if there is any nested macro if there is any nested macro it cannot be handled by two pass macro processor because uh, what is it happening nested macro means how does how it has to identify that it is a nested macro because pass one is a duty to identify only the only the definitions of a macro only the uh, pass one only only the definition now what is the definition this part is the definition of a macro 
and in second pass what does it does it identifies or recognizes all the calls these are the calls all the invocations in the second pass and they go for expansion and they go for expansion in the second call in the first in the sorry and they go for in the first pass it recognizes all the definitions in the source program all the definitions in the source program and in the second pass it recognizes all the macro calls or all the macro invocations and then go for uh, and then go for expansion but if there is any nested macro if there is any nested macro uh, what it takes more time in uh, calling a macro and calling a macro and calling a macro in calling them again it will be in the same loop again it will be in the same loop so it cannot come out so it cannot come out and it takes more time so what what are, what it is uh, it is due to this reason so pass one and pass two um, sorry uh, the two pass assemblers are not that much uh, designed so overall only one pass assemblers are uh, designed so in one pass assemblers what does it happen one pass assemblers the <coughs> One pass assembler. So, what does it happens mean? Every macro must be called. What it will do in every uh, every macro must be defined before it is called. So that in overall one pass assemblers, what does it has? It follows something something like this. Whatever the definitions are there, or whatever the definitions of a macro are there, it is defined first. It is defined first before before calling. This is as usual only. And next, what does it does? The uh, in one pass processor can alternate between the macro definition and macro expansion. What does it does? Uh, it can alternate between one uh, macro definition and macro expansion. Okay, if one macro is found, uh, sorry, if one macro definition is found, then call it and go for expansion. Call it and then go for expansion. So in this way, it uh, it does. And if there is any nested macro definition, so if there is any nested macro definition are allowed, but uh, but what uh, what does it does? It only uh, uh, it only nests or it only calls for nested. It only calls for nested. It only sees the calls. It only sees the calls, but doesn't do the uh, definition. It only sees the call, but doesn't do the Definition. Somebody has joined in the class. Yes, and don't be late to the class. From yesterday onwards, the strength is very less. Hmm? Now, what we have learned? We have learned. We have learned something. I have told you something like one pass, and I have told you something like two pass macro processor uh, one pass macro processor two pass macro processors and in the overall one pass macro processor it has the three main data structures and that is definition table name table and argument table definition table stores all the definitions stores all the definitions of the macro and name table stores only the names of the macro stores only the names of the macro along with the starting and along with the starting and end address means two pointers it will point along with the start and end address of the definition along with the start and end address of the uh, macro definition now in the third one in third data structure that is argument table it stores all the arguments of the macro invocations of the macro invocation so this is how uh, this is how the uh, algorithm says have you all understood what i have told in uh, uh, one pass macro processor one pass macro processor it has Three main data structures in one pass macro processor. It has three main data structures, and how it does means how it does means the moment it see any macro, 
it stores its definition into definition table and it picks the name of the macro and stores in a macro uh, and sorry stores in a name table and when it sees the arguments of the uh, arguments of the macro definition so it starts uh, storing the arguments whatever is uh, whatever is with the macro it starts storing the arguments into the argument table so this uh, this is all about the macro so if it is any other line any other input line any other input line in the sense some regular um, some regular source input line so if it is any other regular source input line it just sees whether it is a whether uh, sorry whether it's a simple uh, line or whether it, uh, simple line in the sense any assembler assembly language line so if it is any other assembly language line it just whether it's a symbol or whatever it is accordingly it just um, preserves uh, the this is the part of the assembler so uh, again assemblers uh, will get uh, will get back in the action line and they start uh, processing uh, like as pass one and pass two and in this way both together they go for generation of the um, go for generation of the uh, object code go for generation of the object code so here for your lab purpose it is all about the implementation of the macro processor so here macro means you should analyze here we are writing we are writing a program only for a macro we are writing uh, the implementation only for a source macro so if it sees the macro macro name definition end of the macro and macro invocations what it has to do what it has to do so it has to first it has to start constructing three data structures that three data structures are nothing but the uh, definition name sorry the definition table name table and argument table this is thing you should remember in mind definition table argument sorry definition table then the name of the argument table name of the argument table and also the sorry uh, definition name name of the uh, macro and arguments and arguments and this arguments while getting stored into the uh, table they store according to the according to the positions according to the positions so that was all about the uh, macro algorithm and now i will be telling you about the lab program just look into the lab program this is the uh, uh, theory which i have written for your lab program uh, macro what is a macro the most likely questions which can be asked and macro instruction what is a macro macro is nothing but a uh, assembly language and it is a template format represents the pattern of Um, pattern of zeros or more assembly language zeros or ones more assembly language statements that might be common to multiple programs. So macro uh, macro program has called the macro instruction, which is a uh, notational convenience for the programmer. Notational convenience for the programmer means to identify for the programmer that it is a macro. It allows the programmer to write the shorthand version of a programmer. Short hand version of a program. A macro represents a group of statements in a source programming language, and expanding the macro is nothing but replaces the macro instructions. Replaces the macro instructions, and here also I have taken the same figure. Like uh, source code is of macro. Source code is of macro. If it is the source code is with the macro means macro means. it should pre process that source code it should pre process that source code using the macro processing then expand that code and compile uh, compile then go for compiling and then go for assembling and generate the object program so this is all all for all before the compiler this is all before uh, fed into the compiler so source language is there your source language is a combination of a macro and that macro has to be expanded this all happens before getting into the 
compiler one thing you should remember before getting into the compiler so during this period there is a pass one and pass two for first three steps pass one and pass two so in pass two it's very uh, pa uh, pass two assemblers sorry pass two macro processors are um, uh, cannot handle the nested macros therefore we go with overall one pass assemblers overall one pass assembler whenever it see any macro whenever it sees any macro or uh, in one pass assemblers it identifies all the macro definitions first then uh, what it does then it identifies all the definitions first definition identifies the definitions then next it identifies all the uh, all the expansions all the expansions with the calls first identifies all the definitions next it identifies all the calls next it go for expansion and if there is any nested again it uh, completes that nested loop expand sorry call expand and complete that and come out of that so during this period during this period it is expanded and the expanded code is given to now to the compiler now compiler what it does compiler takes that uh, source program which is in the high level language only it takes and convert it into assembly language now the assembler will take that assembly language and go for pass one and pass two and generate the object code and generate the object code so you can analyze here a macro processor is essentially it is nothing but a substitution of one group of characters so here again the design of a macro processor is this you should understand very carefully the design of the macro processor is generally a machine independent is the design of the macro processor is generally a machine independent that means a sick machine and a uh, no, sick extended uh, sick version of the machines so it is not dependent on any type of the machines like 16 bit 32 bit any uh, it is not dependent like that it itself is its own independent machine architecture so it doesn't depend on any of the machine architecture so itself so there are the three actual um, macro processors examples that is the macro processor designed for use by the assembler language programmer and used with high level programming language also and used with the macro uh, general purpose macro processors which is not tied to any particular language now say for example there are three macro processors that is uh, the macros with uh, the high level languages and the macros with the general purpose uh, general purpose uh, processors and also the macros with the assemblers macros with the assemblers now java acts as assembler also and compiler also so that comes in, and in that macros also will be there so that's one example which is belonging to high level language also and which is belonging to assembly level language also java and c also same thing so general purpose again uh, the java applies for the general purpose so it is having all the macro pre processing statements and uh, compiler and assembler uh, systems in Java and languages. So that uh, one example, the handling sequence for the program becomes in this way. Like this is the source program. So all the macro facility use all the macro facility from the uh, macro library. Like say for example, stdio.h it handles the input output functions. So it handles input output functions. Again, it gets expanded expands the code expands the source code expands the source code and gives uh, gives it to the compiler i must say here compiler but here directly i have used here the assembler compiler it is given to compiler and compiler gives the assembly language and assembly language uh, will be taken by the assembler and they generate the object code and go for uh, linking and loading linking means executable files it generates and go for loading so that is all about the macros macro sequence of executions <coughs> now here the basic processor functions as i said 
defining macro name, group of instructions that is nothing but the macro calls and body of the macro, body of the macro for expansion. So here two new assembler directives. Uh, we are familiar, but again as per because we have to design no macro. So macro means whenever a assembler sees is not a whenever a macro processor sees the word called as macro instruction it identifies the beginning of the macro definition is after that. macro definition is started then yum end means end of it identifies itself that it is the no more definition is there means that is the end of the macro so how uh, any macro can start label opcode and operands and also the parameters will be there and also the body and prototype for the macro name parameters define the prototype for the macro instructions used by the program. <clears throat> so expansion, how does it take? Expansion takes place based on the macro calls like this. The expansion takes place. Now this is the macro invocations or the macro calls. Expansion takes place. Wherever this uh, macro name is substitute, wherever this macro name is listed, so it's start substituting wherever the macro name is used. There is nothing in the expansion. There is nothing in the word expansion. Hope you all are understanding. Yes, Pranali, Puja. Abhishek, yes, today I'm telling the algorithm, hope you all are understanding. Ritwij, Sneha, Anisha, Prasad, Aparna, Yes. Are you understanding? Aparna, Pratik, Prasad. Dipti. Gaurav. Rasika, Yogesh, Vivita, Prasad, Pranish, Puja, Pallavi. Understanding? Today I am telling the algorithm. Sonia is joining now. Sonia, why are you late? Yes. Sonia is late for the class. Diksha left. Some of you are joining, some of you are leaving. Akshada. Ahalya, Abhishek, are you there? Again, Sonia left. Because when I'm just I can say very less trend. If I be only teaching, if people are uh, leaving the class, okay. So this is how the macro arguments uh, so this is how the about the macro now as i said uh, the uh, the algorithm creates the infrastructures that is macro uh, table and macro, macro argument table the three important 
Sorry, again I was disconnected. I don't know why. What's wrong? What is happening? Uh, due today, the network range is very poor. It's all because of the network. I was again disconnected. Can you tell me where I was? What I was I was telling about the experiment eight. So it is this start pointer. Now a argument table. Here argument table it is written as expansion. Sorry, not expansion. Argument table is, uh, is uh, argument table, which I have noted it here as actual parameters. Okay, here which I noted it as actual parameters. So these many constructions will be there. So in uh, and uh, uh, during the time of the expansion, there is a uh, expansion time variable table. There is an expansion time variable. This also I have told yesterday during during the expansion when the uh, when the macro will get substituted when the macro will get substituted that is nothing but the expansion time uh, time variable table is uh, entered means its variable is entered into the table called as expansion time variable table an expression time an expression time variable uh, time variable table is maintained for this purpose so in that it contains the pair uh, something like this environment uh, sorry uh, expansion name and its value what is the expansion name and its value the expansion name and its value the value field of the pair accessed by what accessed by when a processed uh, processor statement or a model statement under the expansion refers to the environment uh, uh, refers to the expansion time variable so the expansion name and the name of the value value during that period what is the value uh, to that uh, expansion what the value is being given to that expansion then actual parameter table in actual parameter table it is designed to hold the values of the formal parameters formal parameters it is designed to hold the uh, hold the values of the formal parameters during the expansion during the expansion let's like say for example ampersand p i have used air i have used in the macro so i may be using x value to pass to the uh, to pass to the ampersand p so that x value will get stored here in the actual parameters in the actual uh, parameters during the expansion time so the parameter name the parameter name this contains the formal names which we pass during the expansion time which we pass during the expansion time parameter name it is represented by pn tab and this contains the parameters name and uh, while processing the macro definition this format is required and next is next is actual parameter value the actual parameter value it contains the formal parameter values okay it contains the formal parameter value something like what we give uh, for x what the value is for y what the values for x assume that 10 for y, y assume that um, assume that uh, some other value some other constant value so and reg is nothing but a register value what is the content of that register so in this way the actual parameters to the formal parameters the values are entered and they are also maintained in a separate table and keyword table in keyword table it is a parameter default parameter names default values in keyword value it is a default values and this contains uh, along with the uh, this contains along with the format the parameter name and default value the parameter name and default value exactly like equal to in positional parameters i have told uh, in uh, parameter passing we have three types of one is positional one is keyword and the other one is default value even if you don't give the value it takes from the default it takes from the default what is present in the uh, what is present in the parameter name 
formal parameter name so it act as the actual value which I, it act as the actual value and that is said to be as the default value and that is said to be as the default value let us look into the algorithm now during the time of the algorithm as i said it constructs the three different or three main uh, three main three main it constructs the three main databases or the data structures what are the three main data three main data structures it contains something like the macro definition table then uh, macro definition table name macro name table then argument table in the argument table actual parameter parameter values will get stored again they are again uh, different two tables okay now here pass one algorithm the pass one algorithm it works it works with the uh, source uh, source input of the macro program source input of the macro program whenever a macro processor sees such a source program of the macro input what it does what it does actually uh, in this uh, it divides um, these all tables and whatever the lines are there of the statement of the macro source uh, statements it divide there are actually four procedures actually there are four procedures with the main program there are what there are four procedures with the main program uh, main program uh, the iterations can happen uh, well, the iterations means repeatedly calling the uh, get line or repeatedly calling the process line in process line what it has to process get line means what it has to take line a regular line or a regular line of a source program or it has to take the uh, or it has to take the line of a macro line of a uh, macro definition or something or some uh, not only macro definition or end of a macro whatever it can see so it processes into four uh, it processes into it processes into four procedures the algorithms works with the four procedures that is the algorithm works with the four procedures how does it works means how does it works means uh, because the lines can be the source input lines can be iterative lines and also can be the process lines uh, and also there can be the line when whenever it comes to the any first line any first line get the input line so if get the input line if it sees uh, if it sees uh, something like expand if it sees something like expand then get the next line from the definition table and else it has to read the next line of the input file input file in the sense your source file else it has to see the um, uh, it has to see the uh, input uh, input line from the uh, sorry it has to see the next line of the input file next line of the input file so here whenever why we have to go directly to the expanding expanding is nothing but substitution so if it is not an expanding macro while while the opcode is not equal to end as i said as i said the algorithm works with four procedures how the algorithm work with four procedures one is get line procedure another one is process line procedure and the two important procedures that is define and expand define and expand the motto of the algorithm for macro processor is in two only one is define and expand define in the sense definition of a macro definition of a macro to to know the definition of a macro it will go to the def tab when going to the def tab when go, while going to the def tab it will check the entries in the definition table it will check the entries in the definition table and go for expansion but before going for expansion it will check what is the name of the macro 
to check the name of the macro again it will go where it will go to uh, name tab name uh, name tab in the sense where it is storing the name of the macro where it is storing the name of the macro Wha once it get to know the name of the macro it start expanding it start expanding so remember students there are the four procedures how the pseudo code uh, or how the algorithm of the macro goes the algorithm of the macro works with four procedures that is get line process line define line defined line in the sense a definition of a macro then uh, after the definition of a macro it has to check for expand this is what definition of a macro sorry here definition of a macro then expand expand so how it has to run just see once again this algorithm works with the four uh, procedures here i have written while begin the macro processor why directly we should go for expanding why directly we should go for uh, substitution no we should not go for directly for substitution it is false therefore it is not a uh, statement of substitution now if it is false if it is false means not a statement of expanding then come to the code come to the code the while the op code not equal to end that means it is within the macro while the op code is not equal to end yes it is not equal to end so what it will do it will take the get line who is this get line come here who is this get line get line is nothing but begin if expanding then if expanding means uh, start beginning of the uh, macro start beginning of the macro so how the start beginning of the macro get the next line of the macro de definition from where it has to get the line because this line it has to increment also it has to increment also and before getting incremented first it has to find out where is the macro definition table to get the line so from the definition of the macro from the definition of the macro table it substitutes for it substitutes for this expanding if it substitutes for this expanding okay how does it substitutes for expanding again it will take the arguments from the uh, actual parameter table from the actual parameter table for positional notations means suppose ampersand p is used only one parameter is used in the uh, expansion that is uh, in the a substitution so during that period of expanding time it should take the value of only one value that is actual parameter x that is actual parameter x that is based on parameter passing so end or finish that expanding finish that expanding yes finish that expanding else if it is not finish that expanding go to the next or read the next input line or read the next input line of the line of what read the next input line of the input file what is there next what is there next read the next input line of the next line means next line means still it is not in a macro substitution still it is not in a macro substitution means so during uh, from begin to end it is in a macro substitution that is nothing but expanding or macro expansion process is taking place now if it is not a macro expansion process so it is reading the next line of the source program it is reading the next line of the source program so end that get line which end end that get line now come to the process line what does it happens in the process line i said in process line it checks for definition it checks for definition or defining the macro and go for and go for its expansion and check for the output check for the output now here in process line search for the macro definition table search for macro definition table if found 
go for expansion if found go for expansion else if, if the opcode is not equal to macro then define why define if there is no expansion process is not going so it will start it start finding the macro into the macro table into the sorry into the definition table else write the source line to expand file else write the source uh, source line to expand file if it is not again expand def definition else it will be an expansion else it, it will be an expansion so this is how the uh, process line also process line procedure also gets end so it is divided into uh, get line process line who can be get line while it can be line while it can be the expanding line or it can also be the next line of the input next line or uh, if it is a get line of the input again it searches for the uh, ma macro definition table and go for a substitution and also thinks about uh, parameter passing else if it is not that case means it will read the next line how the process line now once the now once the definition has been started so it should start it should start expanding once the definition line has been started so it should start the expanding so if found if if expanding is found then start uh, then start for define then start for defining else write the next line of the file else write the next line of the file so this is how the algorithm works this is how the algorithm works so this is the pass one algorithm now here one can tell no in this pass one algorithm ma'am there is no nested the nested is covered in uh, the nested is covered in definition only definition and get line they it is covered so it goes under the looping statement it goes under this looping statement else it can read the next line of input all the students have left why only few are there yes and nobody told me also my screen is not visible also garav aparna nobody acknowledged me yes pratik manashri ahilya nobody acknowledged me why my screen was not visible no pratik pratik hello pratik why you didn't tell my screen was not visible only na hmm abhishek shivani of course it's now visible when i came back to this window before that nobody told me sometimes you people are joining sometimes you people are leaving i don't know how you will come to know hmm? joining and leaving geeta left hmm okay i will see one program of the c program where i need to show the where i need to represent in that program i have just uh, framed only for the definition table and name table definition table and name table and in the next class another program i will be showing where in that program we can see the definition table also argument table also because it all depends on us how we frame it a simple program if you frame for only the definition table and name table Name table in the definition table means only taking the definition of the macro and name of the macro and name of the macro. So I will run here one program, eight program, whatever I have told you. So 
I'll make the screen big, little bit. Why? Because the silver. What you have to see here? I have taken so one, two, three files. In one file, I have my input program. What is my input program? My input program will be my macro. My source program will be of macro. So I have called that macro in this file. This is the file which I have prepared macro. This file is prepared for or implemented for implementation. Now, what is macro implementation? It should be databases. Which data structures it should create? Definition data structure or definition table, and it should also create the name table. Name table means name of the argument and definition table. Actually, this is not incomplete, but uh, it would be more big program if I take all the databases, all the data structures, definition table, name table, argument table. Definition table, name table, and argument table. But he have not in the argument table. And because it would be more big program. So I have not taken. Only I have told to recognize the two keywords. This start macro, I mean macro name and macro end. These two keywords it has to identify. And whatever is present in the, uh, whatever is present in the, uh, in the, uh, in the name of the macro that is identified by, uh, that is identified by in the string. And what is found in the uh, definition table that is also called as the file three and file three uh, will have the whatever the strings are present those are nothing but the it can be operate operand and operators it can be operands and operators how the definition table will be there how the name table will be there name table will have only the name of the macro so therefore only one argument therefore only one argument and definition table what it will have Definition table operators and operand. Like how will be the macro? Like if I say add, uh, add, uh, add one into uh, areg one, add uh, two into areg two. So there, there only the two strings are required. One is one string is for first operand. Second string is for second operand. So only these two are required in the definition table. And how would be your uh, name table? Your name table only one string, name of the macro. That's what LA, name of the macro. And after that, I have told just print, just print them. If the strings are compared, else if they are not compared. If the strings are compared, else if the strings are not compared. So if the strings are okay, means if they are compared while uh, M and is equal to uh, zero, while M end is not equal to zero, while M end is equal to zero means end of the macro. While M end is equal to, uh, sorry, uh, macro is equal to zero means during that period, we are doing the processing of the macro definition. Macro definition. During that period, we are processing the macro definition and also name of the macro. Else, if it is not equal to zero, that assumes that macro definition part is over. Macro definition part is over. Then it will take only the which one which file f3 and f2 f3 is what f3 is our uh, is our definition table and f f1 is our what f1 is our input file what is our input file input file will be in the name in the label uh, operand 1 and operand 2 okay label operand 1 and operand 2 so again calling the same file why because to print that file so again close all the files now, whoever is the input file, our input file, it will read through this program, through this macro. Who is our input file? Our source program is input file. And internally, it creates, it writes what? Internally, after reading this input file, it writes what? It writes the name of the macro and also it writes the definition of the macro. That is the uh, macro processor algorithm one pass one algorithm but here i did not wrote or i did not write through this program for argument table okay for argument table so let us uh, run this program so it has been run successful one is over now just check 
what is there in the uh, input i will show you what is present in the input i have gone to the turbo cd I will go to the all files and I will tell you what is our file input to. So I have written here input to. Just check here what is the input to. See here in input to name of the macro is exe one exe one macro and two parameters are there. A and B, two parameters are there. What is the name of the macro? Name of the macro is. I will just expand the screen. Name of the macro is exe one. So, what is the program which I have framed? This program I have framed for definition of a macro and name of the macro. Now, definition of a macro is what from here. This much is the definition of a macro. This much is the definition of a macro. This. LDA and store A is the definition of a macro. Now, what it, what the process, uh, what the program does, it identifies definition of a macro. It identifies first. It has to identify pass one. What it does, it has to identify all the definitions and the calls. And once the definitions are identified, they are pushed into the definition table. So here, the definition table is def D tab. D tab dot text. So this should go to the D tab dot text internally. Means after reading, it should uh, after reading this input file, it should write it to the it should write it to the definition table. So definition table it will write. Then also I have told once it encounters the process line as end of the macro. First, what it will see? Name of the macro is exe one, and how many parameters for this? Did not roll the code that I will show in another uh, program. For this, I did not put the code for the argument table. Okay, argument table means it comes so many three pictures will come. Actual parameters, formal parameters. It should hit first the argument table and who are the actual parameters and formal parameters, and also it will hit the other table is uh, uh, that is. Uh, that is nothing but variable variable so it will so that becomes a little bit complex creation uh, sorry in, in implementation of the pass one of the macro processor so that part i have not shown so that part i will tell in other session so here it should check only for name of definition of the program and name of the macro Now this is this is nothing but this is nothing but what it is nothing but a program where it, where the macro is being started that is at the thousand line where the macro is being started at the thousand line and what is the exe one exe one is nothing but a macro and it is having see how I am passing the arguments I am passing n one and n two arguments how I am passing I am passing the arguments n one and n two n one and n two are nothing but the these are the formal parameters n1 and n2 are the actual parameters and i need to define when i told them these are the when uh, this is a calling macro invocation macro once the invocation macro is called so this start getting expanded start getting expanded and during the expansion time we need to pass the actual parameter n1 and n2 and what is the value there is a word of 11 They are reserved word of one one, and n one can take any value, and n two can take any value. So this goes again little bit lengthy during the actual parameter passing. So that is called as argument table. So this program is not constructed for or not built for the argument. It is only built for the name of the macro and definition of the macro. Now you can check. Sorry. Now you can check. Now you need to check. You need to check n tab two and e tab two. What is n tab? Name of the macro. What was the name of the macro which I have given in the input file? The name of the macro was exc one. So you should put that in this text. Who is the text file? 
name of the macro is n tab 2 so i need to uh, demonstrate here who is that n tab 2 so we will go to the again uh, notepad file and we'll check who is that uh, n tab 2 I'll open n and tab two. See here, e x one is did few. Now again one more. Again, I need to store. Now I can modify also. Uh, for example, I will modify in the input file. because it's a pass and macro processor it is a pass and macro processor so it will to the definition so how the definition will once again i will tell you here uh, how is the definition table definitely d tab to d tab to is the definition table d tab to is the name table d tab to D as one tab. Am I right? So this is here. Expand. Uh, what is that definition table? Uh, name of the macro uh, means for or because I have not written code for it. Actually, it should store only the LDA and STA. This is what definition of the table. It should definition table for defining the macro LDA and S T A. S T A. So under the program, only the element. So it would be more bigger program if I show all together. So this is what macro implementation. This macro implementation is web implementation. I have shown only for because macro implementation does in the past one. It creates it constructs the definition table, name table, argument table. Actually, in program argument table, I have excluded. So, because argument table again hits the actual parameter, par uh, formal parameter, and also the uh, expansion, expansion value, expansion value of that uh, for actual parameter. So, these three tables will be created. That part is not taken. So, only a simple part. Of the past one, macro processor is the and this part. Now, here is, now this pre-processed input file will go to the compiler, and compiler will take this high uh, take pre-processed input file, pre-processed file of this source. Then it uh, starts creating the. Uh, this assertion will be taken by the. Author. For password and password, further go for the addition of the object code. This is how. Have you understood, all of you? Abhishek. Yes. Chitali. Tajmin. Have you understood? Can you write the program? Program is simple. Rationally. Yes. 
can post the algorithm algorithm or the pseudo code of the eight Yes, I will say Olga is the Pranesh. Madam, I have to say that you have to say that you have to say now, क्या पहले से? You have not not only no बोले नहीं। शमा चाहते हैं लेकिन समझ नहीं पा रहे हैं। क्या कहना चाहते हो? आपकी आवाज वार-वार कट रही है। आप बोलिए आने चाहिए। अभी बोलिए। अच्छा देर से बोलिए। Program program matter pass one program have done one pass okay one pass program a kya construct the macro then table macro material but ये प्रोग्राम में अर्गुमेंट कंस्ट्रक्ट नहीं करें में क्योंकि बहुत लंबा होता है हम ऐसे प्रोग्राम देखते हैं और तो बार लगता है तो फिर क्या करें सिर्फ हेलो मैम हाँ मैम योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग यस वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग you should have acknowledged, no?
I think it is same. I think again got disconnected. Network problem. Hello. On par Pranesh. Abhi bhi break ho raha. Nee, abhi thik hai. Pehle se to better hai. फिर भी आफ्टरनून और एक क्लास है ना वन सेकेंड ओके जी और दूसरे भी प्रोग्राम लूंगी इसके प्रोग्राम तो समझ में आया मैं क्या कर रही बोलकर टेबल क्रिएट हुए इस प्रोग्राम से टेबल बोले एक डेफिनेशन ऑफ ए मैक्रो टेबल वन इज नेम ऑफ द मैक्रो और ये मैं नहीं क्रिएट की क्योंकि इन पास वन थ्री टेबल्स क्रिएट होता है और डेफिनेशन टेबल नेम ऑफ द मैक्रो एंड आर्ग्यूमेंट टेबल लेकिन आर्ग्यूमेंट टेबल फिर एक्चुअल पैरामीटर क्रिएट करता है और फॉर्मल पैरामीटर्स क्रिएट करता है और एक एक्सपेंशन वैल्यू इटल वैल्यूज क्या देते हैं वो भी क्रिएट होता है तो ये तीनों टेबल्स इसमें नहीं ऐड करे ये मेरे प्रोग्राम में तो आई टोल्ड ओनली आई टोल्ड ओनली इस प्रोग्राम टू टेबल्स आर क्रिएटेड वन इज नेम ऑफ द टेबल एंड डेफिनेशन टेबल तो नेम ऑफ द मैक्रो एंड डिफाइनिंग ए मैक्रो इन टू टेक इन टू फाइल्स सो इट विल स्टार्ट एडिंग देम इनटू द टू फाइल्स वंस इट सीज द इनपुट प्रोग्राम इनपुट प्रोग्राम इज योर मैक्रो फाइल मैक्रो फाइल में उसमें मैक्रो नेम एक में एक में डालेगा और एक में डालेगा गेटिंग so in afternoon class once again the same program uh, if you want i will continue we'll go with uh, some other uh, topic and uh, i hope this ends uh, the macros uh, but one more class i will take on macro in the afternoon class so that uh, that will end the macro is it okay onkar onkar pranesh Hmm. अभी अटेंडेंस देंगे वन प्रेजेंट टू थ्री प्रेजेंट मैम फोर फाइव Six. Present. Seven. Eight. Present. Nine. Present, ma'am. Ten. Present, ma'am. Eleven. Present, ma'am. Twelve present, ma'am. Thirteen. Fourteen. Present, ma'am. Fifteen. Present, ma'am. Sixteen. Present, ma'am. Seventeen, eighteen, ma'am. Twenty, ma'am. Nineteen present. Twenty-one present. Vaishnavi. Okay. 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 Twenty-two. Present, ma'am. 
मैम रोल नंबर ओके मार्क्ड ना फिनिश्ड हाँ नेक्स्ट मैम थर्टी सिक्स मैम थर्टी सिक्स मैम रोल नंबर वन थर्टी टू थर्टी सिक्स हाँ वन इज प्रेजेंट सिक्सटी नाइन मैम सिक्सटी नाइन ट्वेंटी सेवन मैम सिक्सटी एट मैम सिक्सटी नाइन आई डिंग हाँ सिक्सटी नाइन हेलो डिड आई टोल्ड सिक्सटी एट एंड सिक्सटी नाइन आई डिंग टेल आई आई राइट ओनली एब्सेंटीज लिस्ट ओके मैम हाँ ह Do you want me to read once again? Madam, आपके आवाज रुक रुक के आ रहे थे इसलिए समझ ही नहीं पा रहे हम एक बार फिर से बताइए या फिर आप चार बार उसमें note कर सकते हैं हाँ 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 three four five thirteen seventeen twenty three thirty three thirty five forty forty one forty five forty six forty seven fifty two fifty three fifty nine sixty two रोल नंबर मैडम चैट बॉक्स में क्या रहता है मालूम चैट बॉक्स में प्रेजेंट वाला रहता है एब्सेंट वाला मैं बोल रही हूँ क्योंकि कभी कभी आप आते ना आप लोग हो गया सब कमेंट्स मैं आप रीड करी देखो दो बार थ्री फोर फाइव थर्टीन सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री Thirty three, thirty five, forty, forty one, forty five, forty six, forty seven, fifty two, fifty nine, sixty two. Is that okay? Ma'am, forty seven present. Okay. Ma'am, roll number forty one present. मैं forty one बोली नहीं. Forty seven बोली हूँ, लेकिन अब मार करी हूँ present. Okay. Thank you all. We shall meet again in the afternoon. Any doubts? Any doubts? Thank you.